Hello everyone, it's uh, Chris of Canada. So we're back, uh, what are we doing? We're on a little adventure. I'm going uh, cross country skiing in Jasper for the next few days. That's a lie, I'm going there for one day. Anyway, so I'm just here camping in Hinton. Um, yeah, so I've made dinner, which is, I made the sushi myself. And I've got some imitation crab meat. Don't know why I bought that. Weird. Weird choice. And orange juice. Some pulp. So I'll give you a little tour around the van, what we have going on here. So, scratch map. Highly important. Curtains across the front. Got my little light here so I can see what's going on. And then, as well, I've got my um, little fairy lights freezing around there. So that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, and I'm winter camping, except for it's not very cold. It's only like zero, or maybe it's actually plus one. So I don't really uh, need to do that much winter camping, but I got this woods um, arctic three-star all down filled sleeping robe uh, so it's like canvas outside down filled inside and then it even has a wool liner so I think it's meant to be good till about minus 30 um, but yeah we're not gonna get anywhere near that so um, yeah not really much good for winter camping and there's my skis I've got my brand new Solomon, uh, what are they? Snowscape 7s. Okay, so now it's dinner time. So, having some good old orange juice. And time to try these spicy sushi rolls. Ooh, but first, we have to wash our hands. How do you do that, we ask. Okay. How do we do that, you ask. Uh, so we have baby wipes, which is a good way to wash your hands if you don't have a sink available handily. Grab one of those. Bing, bang, boom. Clean hands. See? Okay, you can try these sushi rolls with me. Mm-hmm. Not bad, not bad. We got spicy, because I'm a spicy kind of guy. Oh yeah, there we go. So these look nice, and I don't know, from time to time I like them, but it's probably not very good, whatever it is. Alaskan Pollock, it says, so we'll see. It actually tastes surprisingly good. Not bad at all, really. It's okay. This is a very, very nutritional dinner. Not bad. So I've scouted out some of the... Well, okay. I got these cross-country skis like about a week ago. And I've used them in Edmonton and some of the trails there in like uh, Argyle Park, I think it was. And yeah, mostly there. Mill Creek, something or other. Anyway. So the first day I got them, I went and did uh, about 6Ks on them. Um, yeah, and that was good. I was pretty sore after doing that, but I think that's kind of normal because I haven't skied since last winter. Um, but yeah, and then another day I did a few more Ks again, just to kind of build myself up a little bit before I go somewhere where there's more scenery where I want to go further. 
So I think I'm going to go to Pyramid Mountain. It's like Pyramid Mountain Fire Road, which is supposed to be one of the harder ones. It's like quite a quite an elevation gain on that one, I guess. So it's kind of like you work your way going up and then the way back is just kind of cruising up, coasting all the way down. So that should be kind of nice. Um, yeah, so it should be quite a burn. I think it's like 7Ks each way, maybe something like that. So I think I should be able to accomplish that. And if I can't, then, um, then I need to try harder and, and I should be able to accomplish that. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. So, well, you never know. All right, and this is just as an uh, example of where I'm camping. So unfortunately, this sort of takes the fun out of it because you're actually allowed to camp here. RV overnight, one night parking, welcome. There we go. So yeah, that kind of ruins the fun, but it does the trick. Just the uh, end of a big parking lot of a Safeway. That's kind of a little shopping center thing here. So, Walmart in the distance. Mr. Mike's over there. Pretty cool. And it's allowed, so don't even have to hide. Not bad. What a beast. All right, good morning. So, we've survived the night. It's uh, went down to minus nine. So, we're not too bad temperature wise, but that's a good little winter camp, I think. Um, yeah, I just woke up. I'm gonna fire up the van, let it run for a few minutes, and then uh, go find a coffee and make our way to Jasper. Morning, how's it going? How are you? Good, good. Are you visiting Jasper? Uh, yeah. How many nights are you gonna be in Jasper? Uh, now? just like yeah, just one for now. How much is a uh, like a yearly pass? Do you normally travel by yourself? Uh, generally. It's seventy two twenty five for the year. Okay. And it's good from now till the end of next January all over Canada. Okay, I might get that, please. Sure. So I'm driving along here. Got our first wildlife of uh, the day here. So we've got a nice herd of elk kind of grazing along the highway. That's pretty cute. Nice mountain sun. Life's good.
but I got all my skis ready. We're ready to rock and or roll here. And it's all been, it's all been uphill. And it's kind of icy, so it's actually pretty hard. To, uh, it's a pretty hard slog, but I'm making it. Uh, just on my way back from this trail, I went, what did I go, two and a half, three k's up it, and then I ended up turning around. It's pretty icy and it gets pretty hilly, so I figured, uh, yeah, going up is actually okay. Going down would be the more dangerous part, but it's kind of all right, so I just stopped here. I see some people have been skiing along here. Some people, there's some tracks over there where that little creek comes out. I wouldn't be skiing there, but someone has. Um, there's some of these trails around the lake. I'll probably hit up some of those after. I'll go back to the van, have a little snack. <laughs> so here I am, just skiing along Pyramid Lake itself. That's Pyramid Mountain. So, yeah. Pretty scenic out here. It's not bad. It's all pretty icy, but it's okay. Need some fresh snow. Chris O Canada needs some fresh snow. Otherwise I'm not Chris O Canada, am I? I'm Chris O Arizona or something. I don't know. So I've made it to the Whirlpool uh, viewpoint, which is like three and a half, four k's, something, from where I started at this place. Um, I think it's another about that till the end. And then I have to go all the way back, so it'll be 15 k's all up. Well, this is my biggest ski trip this year anyway. I've already done, what did I do? I did about six k's this morning at the Pyramid Lake uh, fire trail. And then on the lake itself, I probably did another three or four. And now I've done eight to here where I am now. And I have to do eight to get back to my car. So I'll do the math on that, but that's that's quite a bit of riding or skiing in a day. These bad boys took me pretty far. So yeah, it's been a nice day actually. It's been good. Needed the fresh air, I think. Doesn't hurt anyone, right? So here I am at Moab Lake viewpoint. I've skied eight kilometers away from the car, which is great, except for I have to ski eight kilometers back to the car. Um, yeah, so that'll be fun. Well, made it eight kilometers from the trailhead to Moab Lake viewpoint. It's very beautiful here, but uh, yeah. Got to make the trip back in a minute after I have a little rest and a drink. We'll flip this around and get the view. Pretty nice little spot. I've never actually, never been here before. In the summer, I guess it would be a pretty long hike. If you think eight kilometer hike each way. 
16 Ks would be a, would be a solid hike on skis. It's not bad. You go a little bit faster, but oh, it's still for me it's a hike. That's for sure. But yeah, fun. Well, I've made it back to the van. So that was, uh, yeah, the other 8Ks of that uh, trail from Moab. So 8Ks there, 8Ks back, so that's 16. So I did the math, I've done minimum of 25Ks today, if not a little little bit more, one or two more. I'm not sure how many, how many I did around uh, Lapping Pyramid Lake. So, successful day. And uh, we're probably an hour from sunset, so I'm gonna start driving back towards, uh, back out east towards Edmonton. Not all the way there, but yeah, that's the plan and uh, yeah, good day out on the trails. <laughs>